Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, Deb Chanel's 48th World, and we're going to be talking about NeNe Leaks, honey. NeNe Leaks and Greg children cutting up on her butt, well really the daughter is, but I'm sure they hyped her up, the rest of the boys, okay, because they were on their good behavior, and so honey, baby, Katrina, uh, Leaks is definitely getting her, uh, what do you call it? She, she's getting her feelings out. Yes. As y'all can see with the tweets we got going on here. And my thing is, everybody has an opinion just like they have an asshole, okay? If this girl want to come out and dog Nene out for whatever reason, which is this is her, Katrina Leaks. If she wants to dog out Nene Leaks, she has that right to. Okay? They probably was acting <sighs> civil because Greg was in the picture. You know what I'm saying? And they knew about his health problems. But this, and I'm thinking this is before he knew he had cancer. Just, you know, him going and coming and doing what he needed to do with Nene running around this that and the third they probably just didn't want to upset nini and then nini gave us a pretense i guess you could say false pretense that she was getting closer with everyone on his side of the family meaning you know uh the boys and the girls and she knew they were kind of sort of like estranged uh and she wanted greg to you know be with his family as well because she don't have any ill will towards them well that's what we thought but child yes this is some of the memorial service uh i guess when they cremated him well I, maybe they laid his body to rest and that a mausoleum he's in one of those things like you pull out like a file cabinet um yeah uh that's i don't know why they try to make these pajamas look like they were a a statement piece to wear because i've seen her wear it before i think she was on watch what happens live with andy Cohen at one time when she wore that burgundy outfit but they are wearing the uh nini fans are wearing that girl out you know and she just bringing it to the forefront that you know nini ain't uh crystal clear and without fault um she took or how she's expressed and then he took or seduced her dad away from her mom now in favor of nini i can say no man or no woman will leave their intended mate or spouse unless they're ready to go they have no more love for that person and you damn sure can't have two women with the same man and be married so whatever reason greg was at the strip club where nene was flirting with him and probably giving greg lap dances and this that and the third they ain't got nothing to do with us in sense unless you're gonna just not have those uh what you call script uh strip clubs available you know my ex-husband went to them and um i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all's husbands or boyfriend have gone at least once or twice but getting a lap dance going to see them dance should not take you from your responsibilities at home now did greg let nene get the best of them and she had a child at the time which is bryson and we know bryson he probably was hard to grow up uh, he looked like he just give you know somebody a, a heart attack or you know just hard problems <laughs> he probably was a kid that woo, she need to have hands on him at all times but greg helped raise somebody else's child 
before he got his own child from Nene, which is uh, Brent. But child, baby, Miss Katrina Leaks, she's on Nene's ass. And I'm wondering, is the reason why she's on Nene's ass is because Greg may have told his children that he was going to leave them a little something, something. And Nene didn't give them their little something, something. That's why it's imperative. It's, in, it, it, it's possible. If anybody said they want to leave you something, get it on, written on paper. Get it written on paper. Now, I don't know if uh, they had a will. I don't know if they had maybe a policy worth a couple of millions prior to Greg getting his diagnosis of uh, cancer. Because I don't think he would let you get a life insurance policy if they already know you pretty much, you know, we're going to, you know, probably die in the next couple of months or whatnot. I don't think they would cover you on, on that. And we're not understanding how long he had an insurance policy, if he even had one. But that's not my question. That's not why I'm being nosy over here. I just want to know, because the streets are saying, and Katrina's speaking as loud as she want to on social media about it, that Nene uh, is, is, you know, she's not right. She's not a good person. Because she tr uh, seduced her dad from her mom and uh, she didn't give them none of the burial uh, money. The beneficiary, you know, was more than likely Nene. Or it could have been Brent. But either way, they really feel, I'm guessing, I'm assuming, and all of this is allegedly, that Nene kept them children money. Now, I know it is plausible. That can happen. And if Nene said all her pain and suffering... She deserves all that money, then no, you don't, Nene. If Greg had told you verbally to make sure his kids are taken care of, or he gave you a specific denomination of money to split between his kids, then you should honor that and do what you need to do and give them, them children their money or whatever. And the only reason I'm saying that is because Katrina says she's been trying to reach you, Nene. Did you change your number? We know you changed your address. Ferociously. You were trying to get out of that house. Because I know you were swimming. You were swimming in debt with that big ass house. But to me, it's still like you should have still kept a house. Maybe like two or three hundred thousand. Uh, because living by somebody and all that. I know, I know them walls in that condo you got. You can probably hear in and everything. Especially somebody getting a fight in one of them. Uh, which you really shouldn't have that type of uh, individuals in that type of setting of an apartment slash condo you live in, girl. Everybody should be on their best behavior. But even the rich and famous get down and get dirty sometimes too and start tan up shit. But, uh, yeah, honey, that's what the streets are saying. We're trying to figure out what you're doing. You hiding them, them people money, Nene. You done took Scammer Man Shaba, all these places, and it was on those children money that you supposed to have gave to them when Greg passed. Girl. Now, you know the Lord don't like it. And ain't no way in the world. You should do them kids wrong. I know they grown as hell. But you know when people die. They be like well did granny leave me something? Well did mama leave me something? Did daddy leave me something? He just left me in this world without nothing. And gave it all to you. They probably ain't believing it. <laughs> Cause they looking at you got the death benefit. You got the sale of the house. And now you have this. Uh, unspeakable. Uh. But speakable lawsuit going with NBC, True Entertainment, and um, Truly Original, all under the umbrella of Bravo. So I'm like, Nene, easy come, easy go, because that money will go if you don't have any other revenue streams coming in. And like I said, you was piss poor by closing the Lilithia Lounge because something happened to your son. Business got to go on. Business must go on. I'm like, 
was it just you up in the kitchen or something? And Brent was doing the uh, hostess thing. And who were doing the people in the parking lot? Hmm? Did we have shopper, scammer man out there doing it for you? Girl. You say you are an astute businesswoman, but the things that you do, the things you get yourself tied into, I'm not sure. I'm thinking Greg handled a lot of things when it came to uh, making sure you were good. And now you got somebody on your hands that allegedly got PP loans. Mm -hmm, the loans that came to individual companies that were hurting through the COVID. Um, what do you call it? The COVID situation we were in, a lot of businesses was having to have to fold under, go under, claim bankrupt because they couldn't keep up with the demand uh, and they didn't have staff because of the regulations around the COVID situation. We had to do our due diligence and, you know, mask up. We had to have some time where we were like... Uh, spaced out six feet apart so that was kind of hard for restaurants and lounges as Nene has and um, she you know occupies this lease building for her uh, endeavors of the club scene slash eat eatery place and um, with uh, scammer man Shama he was supposed to have several locations for his his um business suits or uh suit what do you call that? Oh my goodness. Well just let's just say he had a suit shop where you come in and buy his accessories and his suits and get measured for them and the other accessories that go with, you know, uh the suits such as the ties, the shoes, the socks and stuff of that nature. He had a few um shops himself and i don't know if he had to have some of his staff take you know a week or two vacation without pay or what was going on or he was using that money to pay them because a lot wasn't coming in due to the COVID restrictions so uh, what i heard was and it's all allegedly that he got a lot of pp loans he need to pay back and I'm like, did you use them on the proper things they told you to use the money on, Mr. Chaba? Mr. Scammer Chaba? Did you use those funds correctly? Or were you going out of town and paying your wife off with some of those monies? Would hate to see you get incarcerated. You better tell, uh... Nene let you talk to what is that person that got in trouble with the PP loans? Well, I don't know if he went to jail for that. That was a charade man uh, that had to serve time for messing up some things. I think it had something to do with PP loans too. Well, you can talk to Apollo about it. He knows a hell of a lot about that stuff. And then we know, shoot. Peter know a little something too, but we ain't even gonna put him in that category because he just can't keep his clubs afloat. He gets in back rears and things of that nature because we do know Cynthia was had him out for like a hundred thousand or maybe it was more than that that he had borrowed from Cynthia. And uh, I'm pretty sure Mike was telling her she needed to get her money back. But anyway, she ended up forgiving the loan and calling it even i don't know what he did for her or uh maybe she have a membership where she ain't gotta pay nothing if she come to his eatery joint who knows okay because with peter you just never know he closed down one shop or get one shop closed he opened up another one down the street you know what i'm saying money just come to him in, in all kinds of phases but uh he's not a one to get married again and hopefully he'll never do it again I think he been married about four or five times, okay? And never stayed with the same woman. But I don't think he really had a lot of kids either. So that's a good deal. But yeah, Nene, that's what's going on in the streets now. And we need you to talk to us. We need you to get on that Instagram uh, page of yours and let Hal, okay? 
because evidently a hick dog will holler and you can't be making these subliminal videos trying to tell us something instead of just coming out telling because that man you got sitting by you laying up with you here and there that man is a scammer he put it like this he has scammer ways he has scandal tendencies and i know at this point on thing you feel like you feel like you're winning but you got to understand baby girl what are you winning because if in fact he uses women or widows that have come into a substantial amount of money uh that may be how he got his wife you know what i'm saying the one that's suing you now for a hundred grand or more and all the only reason she's probably not suing you for more that's probably the state's limit on what you can get on in a, in a civil suit because i think it will fall under civil not criminal but girl you paying for a man if you end up paying that hundred grand to her and having to have to pay it because the husband couldn't prove that he wasn't you know messing with you and his wife at the same damn time you understand what i'm saying you tell me about that because how i'm looking at it i can look at it really from two different ways i can say they had you as a target once they knew Greg was gone because Peter set y'all up. You see what I'm saying? I really Peter Peter just said, I know someone who could probably get your career popping and jumping. And her husband, he's near death door. Uh can I introduce y'all? <laughs> That's how I really feel how the conversation went. But I got another video that I want to get a little bit more in detail about it. Because I ain't gonna I am not gonna let Peter Thomas rest either because she wouldn't be in this mess unless if it wasn't for Greg not Greg uh Peter telling or acknowledging to his friend I have someone that can help you with your career <laughs> and not only is she helping him build his clientele he is making her shell out a hundred thousand dollars for him okay and i'm not a bedding woman but i believe he gonna get some of that money from that ex-wife or soon to be ex-wife or maybe never gonna be an ex-wife she might just be the wife that nene just gotta continue to uh patron from time to time nene is list a uh, leasing uh or leasing scammer shaba man okay because the wife don't want to let him go and it seems like nene don't want to let him go and it just behooves me it's so perplexing so confusing and i'm not understanding why she would want to pay for a man because i think she all can the birds or uh, 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 apology too because i remember marlo came with it or sheree came with it saying can to pay for her man and uh can I just say like hey if i got it and i love them i'm gonna make sure they good so that was her telltale that she, she paid if she liked the person she'll pay she don't care because she knows she went in into into the situation that she had more than the people that she's messing with because i think marrying somebody on your tier of money and a little higher it probably scared her because she did say something to the fact to her mama one time that you know these men that's on my level or they make much more than me you don't think they're gonna cheat too i said well good good point candy touche touche i don't think mama joy worried about as long as her money don't get cut off and her grandchildren which is riley <laughs> and ac man but now we got blaze in the picture so child i'm like nene you need to sit and have a meeting with those children or a gathering or a nice lunch and just tell them look your dad didn't leave y'all no money okay i can show you the papers or who he put as in charge of his beneficiary funds and that was me and if it wasn't me because i left then it would have been um brent so see i'm sorry he did not do enough for y'all while he was living but he didn't leave y'all nothing and in effect 
you should give them something anyway. Since you said when Greg was living that you liked his family. You were just having trouble with one in particular person. And uh, I think that would just be right. And uh, everything will be good in the universe for you. But right now, baby girl, I heard that Brent had a car accident. I heard that uh, Bryson, your oldest son, has gotten thrown out that house. Which I thought you paid cash for that house. But you paying the taxes, didn't they? I mean, it's a lot of rumors on you going on their streets. Them YouTube streets, girl. And we need you to come on out here and tell us something so we don't have to worry about you. Because, you know, we tend to worry about you over here, here and there. Half the time, we all just being nose as hell. But we would love for you to come clear this thing up with this older woman. That's uh, Greg's children or child. You know, um, they coming against you and saying, you know, you ain't keeping up with them. You ain't talking to them no more. I mean, if they just looking at you because they feel, you know, you need to give them something, then hell, give them that once in a lifetime type of uh, money package and tell them you don't want to see them ever again in life. Or if you do, y'all paths do cross, it better not be about no money. Because as long as uh, Nene is alive, she's going to get some money from somewhere. She's a hustler. But her grown-ass kids should be hustling, too, in the right way. I ain't talking about doing that agriculture stuff, you know, raising those things or growing those things and then trying to sell them to the masses. No, we ain't talking about doing agriculture. No, we're not talking about that. But that's all I got for this particular video, guys. Y'all like it, love it, got to have more. You know where to come at. You know I'm going to keep it straight. Give it to you with no chaser each and every time. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.